spins a web any size. Catch your seeds just like flies. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining me here today as we get to talk about one of my favorite subjects, comic books. My name is Jose, I love comic books, I love talking about them, I love sharing them with you. Feel free to follow me on social media if you would like, links are in the description below. I also posted a link to the Marvel fan site that I have plot synopsis and character bios for this issue. Amazing Spider-Man 135 from 1974, and it says here, face it friend, this issue's got everything, and we can see our cast of characters here. Look at this. And then, uh, including the terrible tarantula, Harry Osborn's shocking discovery. And we see what the discovery is here, because you can see it right on the cover. And the ominous return of the Punisher, who was drawn very weirdly, those eyebrows. So... All right, I do have a Spider-Man playlist. We have covered the issue before this. And so Gary Onway, oh, sorry, Conway is the writer. Ross Andrew is the penciler. And Frank Yacola is the inker. Shootout in Central Park. And so um, we got Flash Thompson, Mary Jane, and I think that's Betty. And Punisher right here. That's right, Spider-Man. It's the Punisher. You fooled me once before with your Mr. Innocent act. But this time I've caught you red-handed with your gangster cronies. Say your prayers, Wallcrawler. This time you're going to die. And so we get Peter here thinking. He doesn't realize I've been battling Tarantula. And the others trying to keep them from hijacking this ship. If I don't do something fast, he's going to make a mistake we will both regret <laughs> but what can i do i'm weak as a proverbial kitten so all right and tarantula's like see senior punisher shoot him i have no use for a thief who turns against me <laughs> and tries to steal all the uh loot for himself as you americans say and uh i love that there's an arrow to tell you where to look next um can you beat that tarantula that's playing all along with him, making it look like I'm the I'm one of his hired help? I've been insulted before in my time, but you can see here, oopsie, that Spider-Man ends up uh, kicking the uh, um the weapon off him, but that just takes the cake. And so Spider-Man says, "Thanks for giving me a chance to uh, get my breath back, Punisher." Now, if you'll just let me explain, and Punisher's like, no. Um, and he says, I know how your kind can twist words, Wallcrawler. How you can make a man doubt the evidence of his senses, question the sanity of his mind. You did it before. Of course, that was issue 129, which I have covered. You won't do it again, but Spider-Man punches him. and um, But Spider-Man's straw, that really should have hurt him, but I guess... And Punisher then kicks him back. Maybe Spider-Man um, held up here. Hey, will you listen to me? Will you just listen to what I have to say, says Spider-Man as he punches him. I don't know what you'd use for brains, but pal, you're really blowing it. Don't you realize what's been happening while we've been trading uppercuts? And so, Tarantula, now you get the idea. And so Tarantula is getting away. Just so Spider-Man... Uh, but he has gotten the idea, as you put it, too late. My prearranged getaway is already in operation. And while you two have upset our original plans to ransom this day cruise ship to the mayor of New York, you have failed to stop us from escaping with uh, the uh, passengers' valuables. Adios, amigos. Muchas gracias. Great. That's just great. That's just swell, says Peter. And punishes like, blast it to Hades. No. So. And so Punisher goes to the, um, he's going to jump off the ship. And he says, yeah, my apologies, Spider-Man. It appears I was wrong about you after all. But I'm not the only one who's made a mistake today. If Tarantula thinks he seen the last of the Punisher. And so he, uh. Throws you, and Spider-Man's like, hold it, pal. After all, I've got a stake in this, too. 
And Punisher says, then meet me at midnight, World Crawler. Meet me at the museum in Fort Tryon. Till then, our South American enemies... Till then, as our South America's enemy said, adios, amigo. And so you can see him um, swimming away. So, um, South America, the Punisher sounded as though he knew something about the tarantula that I don't. Which makes it certain I'll keep that meeting tonight, no matter what. So, and so here we got everybody here. And look at Flash. Hey, Spidey, wait, I want to talk to you. And so... Everyone is like um, getting near him, and he's uh, uh, still says he's still dizzy from the uh, t uh, the stingers from the previous fight and the previous issue. He goes, "I can't keep my balance," and off he goes, and he does the same thing. And uh, um, Flash Thompson's hero worships Spider Man, so. All right, so we're going to get sort of what happened last issue here. So we're going to um, kind of move it along here. This guy spots somebody, a man overboard. You can see them throw the life raft here, and it's Peter. <laughs> so he went in and changed, so no suspicions. And so... Now, we're back at the Bugle here. If you remember, they asked JJ to pay. Um, and uh, um, Robbie's like, a million dollars the mayor can't be serious. Sure, you owe him political favors, but to ask you to pay the entire ransom as a loan into this city? Jonah, that's a nerve. And um, Jonah agrees. The phone rings. Yes, Parker, not now. I'm trying to figure out how to keep my sanity while I what. Hijackers were run off Jonah by the Punisher or with Spidey's help, of course. I have managed to snap some photos before. Jameson, are you there? And he's like, did you hear that? It's over. The hijacking was foiled by this Punisher uh, character despite Spider-Man's bumbling interference. I don't have to pay. So, And so Jonah's uh, very happy about that. And look at him. Miss Pratt, get me the mayor's office. No, make that the governor's after what the mayor almost had me do. He doesn't deserve the good news. And so and so he tells Betty what happened here. And so here we are in the apartment. Uh, and, of course, we know that this is Harry. He discovers Spider-Man's costume here. And so while Peter was showering here and he walks off. <laughs> and so Peter suspects. So... Um, he of course says, funny, I could have sworn I heard someone in my room. Um, and so off he goes. So he's going to meet the Punisher here. And so he shows up here and, um, Punisher says, the Punisher keeps his word no matter what it costs him. And Spider-Man says, so do I. But let's not get into those one-ups, man, uh, manships. Um, and the Punisher says, no problem. So I'm paraphrasing here. Um, and Punisher says, I've got something to show you that you may find interesting. And Spider-Man's like, lead on, Macduff. I'm all yours. And so Punisher tells him he's been um, in this uh, place for uh, months. It's been abandoned, and he has a um, a uh, oh slideshow here, and Peter's like of Disney World, and Punisher's like, ah, oh, quit being facetious. I don't have time for that. So we're basically getting the origin of the tarantula. He was, of course, a um, a, revo a revolutionary person. You can see him here, kind of like uh, Tony Starkish here, and so. All the bad, so this is he's a uh, one bad person. You can see him doing all these things here. Um, and he ended up getting expelled from the organization he was in, which is funny because most of the time they would kill you, but in this case, he got expelled. So he was expelled because he, um, he had received um commissions and and all that kind of stuff and. They didn't like that, so, 
and so here you can see he becomes even more powerful here and so feel free like I said check out the uh, website um, the Marvel website you can get his origin in there by going into the link I provided down there so and here we have a guard and Spider-Man snatches him and here comes the Punisher and they crash through the, the through this uh, door here and so I forgot the name of oh these are I think are just his uh, minions here and so he uses the whip but the Punisher catches him catches the uh, whip here and tosses him instead so of course his Punisher has his own weapons here tarantula tries to run but Spider-Man grabs him here this great paddle here and uh, you see the tarantula now um, tosses Spider-Man aside he says, Idiota, I'm not your common Anglo criminal to be trapped and insulted like a child. I am Tarantula, and I will have revenge on you who spoiled such a carefully considered. And then he goes, eh. And Spider Man was like, What's the matter, Twinkle Toes, miss? And so, um, that won't be the last time uh, those poison stickers end up jabbing air. We're not aboard a ship now with rolling decks. And this time, you're in Spidey country, and I can dodge those kick of yours. But you can't dodge this as he punches him here. And so, um, Tarantula says, That's true, amigo. The unexpected is difficult to avoid. Wouldn't you agree? And he tosses um, a, a uh, like a cement block, is what I would assume it is. And here, Spider-Man says, Woo, he knocked the wind out of me with that chunk of stone, but he hasn't put me out for the count. Looks like he's headed for Central Park. And right now, that suits me just fine. So, off they go here. And Spider-Man's following him and gets in front of him. And the tarantula is like, You'll never take me alive, American pig. And Spidey's like, Somehow I knew you'd say that. Or something like it, he says. So he does the same thing. He, uh, or not, this does the same thing. He, um, with his legs, kind of uses his momentum and pushes him away. And he hits uh, that uh, wall there. And Spidey says, Now, if you'll hold that pose, we'll wrap this up with a touch of webbing. And then we can all go home and me to my bed. And you to your cell. And so he goes, ah, you moved. And Tarantula says, we'll have to do this whole thing over and over again. And Tarantula, of course, is like, mockery, you dare mock me? Don't you realize who, what I am? And Spider-Man says, sure I do, Buster. You're the first class creep, a traitor to your own friends, men who were trying to free their people from a dictatorship. And so, heroes whose boots you aren't fit to shine. And, uh... He tosses him into the water here. You know something, amigo? It's bums like you who give revolution a bad name. <laughs> uh, and people say that comic books now are too political. Come on, people. They've always been political. Just enjoy them. If, if they're written well, hey, just buckle up and go along for the ride. Um, and Spider-Man says, Sick little war criminals who don't give a hang about the cause... They're fighting for who are only care about themselves and their own twisted egos. Sure, I know who you are. And punk, so do you, as he finally catches him with the web. I can see why Todd McFarlane's web was so popular. And so, um, Punisher says, that was quite a speech, my friend. Punisher, when did you sneak up? Right after heroes whose boots he isn't fit to shine. Do you believe all that, Walt Garler? Are you truly that idealistic? And um, Peter says, yeah, I'm idealistic, and I'll stay idealistic until something better comes along. What about you, Punisher? Don't you have any ideals? And he says, I did once, but that's a long story, my friend. One better told at another time. Till we meet again. Sure, friend, till we meet again. And so we got an epilogue, and we're Harry is heading 
to um, his dad's old lab, and he says here, this is where he killed my father. What I need, I'll find here. And so here's Harry, who's going crazy, he presses the button, takes the elevator, and next issue, the Green Goblin lives again. Amazing Spider-Man 135, Gary Conway and Ross Andrew. Like and subscribe. I do thank you for listening. Goodbye.